The Hulk is the fastest exhumer out there when it comes to all kinds of mining. The tips, fit, and tricks to never get ganked in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Loru here, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve enjoyer. For the better part of 10 years now, and you are smack dab in the middle of our ice mining series. And the Hulk is the goal if you're a miner. It pays for itself extremely quickly. Let's not waste another second. The Hulk boasts the best yield-focused bonuses of any Exhumer. At rank 5 Mining Barge, you get 15% faster mining. At rank 4 Exhumer, you get a total of 31% faster ice mining. And another flat 30% reduction due to its roll bonus. But wait, there's more. This doesn't count for the augments, the modules that you're running, and the boosters. This is why it's the fastest. All that said, let's dive into the fit. The total cost of this fit is 708 million, but that's too much if you're a new player. It's this much because we use the ore ice harvesters. The big boys. If you're new, you can just use the Ice Harvester 1s. You are going to have to take away a mid-slot, though. The Hulk does not have as good CPU as some of the other Exhumers. They really make you work for a good fit. With the Ice Harvester 1s, the cost goes down to 315 million ISK. We use the Ore Ice Harvesters because of their CPU requirement and because yield is king. They have way better yields than the other Ice Miners. For the mids, we have some active shield support with an extender and two multi-spectrum shield hardeners, as well as an afterburner. I hate slow boating. I've said this in my other videos. You can easily replace the afterburner with an EM shield focus module or a survey scanner. For the lows, we have three count them three ice harvester upgrade twos, baby. Max yield, you gotta do it. You already know what it is. For the rigs, we have a ice harvester accelerator two, yield, yield, yield. And the different one comparatively to other exhumers is the processor overclocking units. This is gonna give you more CPU so you can fit all the goodies you need. If you're doing this fit on your own and if your skills aren't up as much as mine, you can always take out the ice harvester accelerator for another processor overclocking unit. For your drones, you're going to get the best drone you can. We're using the augmented ice harvesting drone because it has the best timing yield. With that said, drones are tertiary when it comes to this. You're not going to get a lot of extra ice from the ice drones. They mine ice pretty slow comparatively to your actual ship. Upgrade the rest of your modules, then upgrade your drones. No damaging drones or EC300 drones. You're going to be defended by your fleet. We're going to get to that. Your mining hold is extremely small with only 11,000 M3. This is going to hold 11 pieces of ice total. And this is why you're better off in a retriever or even a Mac and off your solo ice miner. Their increased mining holds means less taxiing, more time on belt, and just overall better comparatively, again, if you're a solo player. Check out our guides on those. Your goal with the Hulk is to stay on the belt forever with the help of an Orca, not a Porpoise. This is very important. A Porpoise can boost your Hulk's mining capabilities, but cannot compress the ice. The Orca can compress the ice. This is the reason you need an Orca when it comes to ice mining. We're going to have a complete high sec Orca mining guide sub for that. You can either make friends with Orca Ice Pilots, join a mining corp, or train up an Orca boosting alt yourself. This is what I've done. Once you've figured out how you're going to get your Orca boost, you're going to need to find some ice. Go to the agency tab in your Neocom. You're going to go to resource harvesting on the homepage. Go to ice belts. Find something close enough to you. Don't go to the ones in low sec. You're going to get killed. Now that you've found your ice belt, you're just going to go there, right? Nope. You're going to do some light scouting in your travel fitted ship. We use an interceptor. We have a full guide on that. You're going to get into your travel fit. Make a bookmark that's a away from the warp endpoint. Get back into your Hulk. With your Hulk, warp to the bookmark specifically. Start mining away. Then if you have an Orca alt, you're going to warp to the Hulk itself, not to the actual ice belts on your probe scanner. All of this to ensure you're both getting your ships, your fleet, your Orca efficiently on the belt and keeping yourself away from the warp in point of the ice belt to avoid those roaming bands of frigates. Hulks are pretty slow. Even with the afterburner, you don't want to warp into the warp in point and then be taxiing to the spot. Before we go further, you're a decent ways away into a lore and worth gaming video. This is the hashtag secret callout section of the video. Since I am now a full Eve partner, we have some special skins to give away to you. This is the Asteroscope Syndication skin, and it looks quite special. So if you want the ship, you must be subscribed and type bling my ship Loru in the comments. In a couple days, we're going to announce the winner of this giveaway. And this is my way of saying thank you because we recently also hit 3,200 subscribes. We completely blew past 3,000 subs. The recent live shows have been amazing. So thanks. Leave a comment and we'll see if you win the skin. Let's get back to the good stuff. 
final step once you're on the belt is setting your default range on your Hulk to 2000. You can do this by right clicking your Hulk. You then select the Orca alt and keep that at range within 2000. This is so you can use your alt's fleet hanger. If you're with some other corp mates and you're using their Orca boost, you can compress in your mining hold as long as you're within the range of their compressor. The Orca's compression range is typically pretty far. My Orca's range is about 80 kilometers away. If you have an Orca alt like mine too, you're going to mine till your hold is maxed out. You can either compress the ice in holds or drag it into your Orca's fleet hanger, compress it there. I typically store my compressed ice in my Orca's mining hold, that said. But the Orca's mining hold can hold 180,000 at my current skill of rank 4. You can sit on the belt for literal hours, watch some Netflix, talk with your friends, enjoy your favorite content creators' live streams. You all this in your nice cozy igloo that you're built for yourself. You're safe, right? Wrong. Oh, you're never safe in EVE. Here's how to maximize the chance you won't get ganked while you're doing all this. First step is always be checking local. Always be right-clicking people's names, looking for low security status. Checking your D-scan for roaming bands of destroyers. Have a safe point bookmarked. You want your Hulk and your Orca, if you have the alt, to be aligned to this safe point. That way, should some gankers come on grid, you can get the hell out as fast as possible. You want to stay as far away from the asteroids as possible when you're mining them. With the Orca boost and my current skills, my Hulk can stay at 29,000 units away. This gives even more distance for our potential gangers to cover before they get to you. We have a ton of ice mining related content on the channel. The playlist for that's about to come up. Check out all those. Like the vid if you like, sub if you're enjoying. Thanks again for the recent subs, y'all. It's meaning the world to me. And we'll see you in the next video.